Hi, my name is Dan Ewa. I'm the founder of DanEwa.net, a digital marketing community where business owners, solopreneurs, and network marketers learn how to drive traffic and increase sales. I want to share with you seven insanely effective growth hacking strategies that guarantee success. This is how to leverage growth hacking to creatively market your business when you don't have as much money as your competitors. But what exactly is growth hacking? Growth hacking is an umbrella term for strategies focused solely on growth. It is usually used in relation to early stage startups who need massive growth in a short time on a small budget. The goal of growth hacking strategies is generally to acquire as many users or customers as possible while spending as little as possible. I love to growth hack. It's one of my strengths. If you need help with growth in your business, you can reach out to me. For the record, growth hacking does not mean you will get something for nothing. It simply means you will get more for something. In other words, don't come to me saying you don't have a marketing budget. Let me drive the point of growth hacking home with the story of Dropbox. By the way, Dropbox is a file hosting service headquartered in San Francisco, California that offers cloud storage, file synchronization, personal cloud and client software. In 2008, when Dropbox just launched, they were paying $100 to acquire each customer Meanwhile, their product costs just $5 per month. You can see for yourself that that was a very fast path to bankruptcy. But they decided to boot hack. So they started a referral system where they granted extra file uh, spaces to their users if they shared Dropbox with their friends. The result? Between late 2008 to early 2010, Dropbox user base grew by nearly 4,000% over 15 months, majorly driven by referral programs. Today, Dropbox is a multi-billion dollar company. There are a number of ways you can grow to hack your business. In this video, I'll share seven. Number one, incorporate an affiliate or referral system to your business. This simply means paying a percentage of sales as commission to people who refer buyers to you or giving an extra bonus or an incentive to users who help you spread the word, just like Dropbox did. It's a win-win for you because you don't pay any commission if the people referred do not buy. This is a very smart way to recruit an army of advertisers for your business. Number two, launch a contest. Give us something that is closely related to your product or service for free. It has to be valuable enough to motivate people to want to be part of your contest. Don't give random gifts like mobile phones or air tickets. Ensure that your gift will only attract prospects who will have an interest in patronizing you in the short or long run. Number three, collaborate with other business owners. A good way to growth hack would be to collaborate with owners of complementary goods. For instance, if you run a hair salon, you can collaborate with a business owner who runs a pedicure and manicure outfit. You are not competitors. Both of you can actually get more sales by leveraging your customers. Or you could write a blog post and mention the businesses of complementary products and service providers in your niche. Then send them a link to the post. Most of them will share the post because you mentioned them. They will get more exposure, so would you. Number four, interview successful business owners in your niche. Your goal here is to tap into the law of association. Once you begin to associate with successful people, successful people will start to notice and seek you out. And then the law of identification will take its course as prospects will start trooping to do business with you just to identify with your brand. Number five, organize and or speak at online or physical events in your niche. There are uh, no two ways about it. If growth is what you want, then you must get people talking about you. And for people to talk about you, you will need to add value to them first. Give your prospects what they want, and they will gladly give you what you want. 
which is patronage and word of mouth marketing, which is the highest form of marketing. Number six, leverage influencers. Carefully seek out influencers who have a good number of your prospects as their followers and partner with them. Your creativity will bear you out here. But influencer marketing is a good way to get the word out about your brand and drive a flood of traffic to your site. Just ensure you engage the right influencer. Number seven, create an aggressive content marketing strategy. Most times when business owners are focused on growth, they make the mistake of thinking they only need to be more aggressive with sales. But no, they rather need to be more aggressive with marketing. If you do your marketing well, most times sales will respond positively. Marketing means creating awareness about your product, service or brand. How, you may ask? By creating lots of content explaining why you are the big deal, why people should pay attention to you. But you don't do that by bragging. Rather, you do it by answering questions and solving problems that resonate with your audience through your content. Write as many frequently asked questions that you can find, then create answers to them and flood the social media space with this content. You will definitely get attention. Of course, there should be a strategy in place to convert this awareness from just site visitors to subscribers and from subscribers to customers. Remember, I teach business owners, solopreneurs and network marketers how to drive traffic and increase sales. Check me out. Giveaway.danewa.net